Okay, so we're back at the door. Uh, this light fixture under here. View down to the left, to the right as you're facing the house. Uh, door could use cleaning up and paint. Walking into the front. Uh, kind of like the foyer. It's got a porcelain tile. Engineered hardwood in the office space or den, I guess is what you'd call this. I'm not real sure. Does have a built in here. Uh, could be dining, could be office. Looks like they used it as maybe an office or an entertainment area. This is a living space. It's got, looks like about Let's see, that's a little over 10 foot ceilings, it looks like. Uh, bedroom to the left when you walk in the, into the hallway. Let me find the lights in. So you got a granite countertops in this bathroom. House could use painting. It's not bad, it just could use a little bit of wear and tear nice size bedroom i'm gonna call it probably 13 by 13 which is a nice size closets a nice double closet it does have a ceiling fan in here so that's kind of the layout of this come back into the hallway so that bedroom is directly across from the, the kitchen and then you have your garage area here. It's a nice two car garage, little, little oversized, but not a bunch. It is an insulated garage door. Uh, that damage right there, is, you're gonna see just about every garage in the South. Uh, due to the temperature inversions in here, it just can't hold up. Looks like it's got a soft water system for the, the house. It's not in use, it doesn't appear to be. Um, but it could be easily it's charged back up and working. It's a gas hot water heater, so that means there's natural gas in the neighborhood, which is a good thing. Close the door back up. We'll move on to the next bedroom. Uh, it's an unusual design. There's a laundry here, I'm sorry, directly across from that bedroom. It's probably a fold down, yeah. It's got a fold, fold down ironing board. Um, this bedroom's not as big. This may be the master. Uh, it's got a decent closet. I'm sure this is the master and it's designed not to have your furniture in here. It's designed for a king bed and two in, uh, two night tables and that's about it. Then this is your other space for that for furniture and that kind of thing. And then you have another another small closet here that you could easily put furniture in. A little bit of an odd shape. And then the master bath is a pass-through bath. So you got a big shower, single vanity, a commode, and then this door goes outside so you can come in off the pool. I'm not 100% sure this is the master. We'll go, we'll go look at the rest of the house. Uh, walk out of here into the, into another living space. This is what they call a keeping room. Um, looks like they had this area out here set up as a, out here as a dining. Here's your kitchen. Maple cabinets. A gas stove. Granite countertops. Fridge. Looks like they've got an inspection that was done, may have been done back when they bought the house. Um, 
nice pantry. I'm gonna turn this light back off since I'm right here. <coughs> Excuse me, there's a little breakfast area there. Uh, I think I could see why they would do dining. I think it would look better right here. Um, so we're gonna walk across to another bedroom here. Maybe two, I don't know. So there's a big bath here. This is probably the master. Commode closet. Big shower. Big shower. Now it needs a little bit of a little bit of love. Caulking's got mold on it and needs to be pressure washed and cleaned. Um, all in all, it's not bad. Uh, you got his nurse closets in here. There, I'm sorry, yep. And here's the other, they're not huge. That would be the his, I would have guessed. And maybe the, the hers, or vice versa. Um, and then you've got a, a little bit of an odd shaped bedroom. This flooring needs to be replaced. It's got a, some swell in it. So this is a, I don't know if it's an engineered, it looks like an engineered hardwood. It's gotten wet in here. I'm sure it's people coming off the pool. So I'm gonna call it maybe two masters. Uh, it's got a really nice back porch. Surround sound out here. They had a TV mounted out here, I guess, for game days. College football's the thing here. And uh, looks like the pool has recently been cleaned. It looks like a new pool liner, which is a good thing. That means you got at least 10 years, possibly 15, before you got to fool with it if you keep it up. Nice size backyard, all fence, got a little utility building. They like Christmas trees, Leland Cypress. Yard just needs a little bit of love, so it's not a bad house. It's just a little unique. Uh, it does have a gas hookup for a natural gas barbecue grill. All this needs to be pressure washed and cleaned. Uh, so I guess you could call it the two masters if you wanted to. Or maybe a mom-in-law suite. Uh, pretty cool house, you guys. A little bit of an unusual plan. Love the tall ceilings. That might even be 12-foot ceilings. I don't think it's quite 12. Yeah, maybe so. Throughout this area. Um, and then walking back through the dining space. They had kitchen here. Uh, keeping room there. So I'm going to go back to the front door and kind of give you, and I love the front door, I'm going to kind of give you the layout of the house from the front. Just a quick walk through. When you walk in the door, it's the office or the little den area they had here. This might have been a, a little den area. You had the secondary master and the master bath and all this way. Right there. There's a door here so you can shut off the master suite. I'm standing in the dining area looking back to the keeping room. You can see the edge of the counter for the kitchen fits in this space. Hallway here, bedroom there, bedroom there, where we walked through and came back out in the keeping area, back to where the kitchen is. So I would say the kitchen is, it's not a really an open concept, but it's, a, it's what I would call a semi-open concept. So the kitchen is kind of the center of the house. There's a few minor things like that light and looks like they may have taken the surround out of here. The wiring's still there, but they've taken it out. It does have a gas a fireplace door here. Make sure that's locked. So 
pretty cool house, you guys. Thanks for letting me video it for you. Have a great day.